Mr. Putter and Tabby. Spin the yarn. One, good neighbors. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby lived next door to Mrs. T. Berry and her good dog Zeke. Mr. Putter liked Mrs. T. Berry. She was a good neighbor. She made chocolate crunchies and shared them with him. She made raspberry roll-ups and shared those. She made brown sugar bonbons and shared those too. She was a very good neighbor. Sometimes Mr. Putter was not sure. If he was a good neighbor, all he did was eat Mrs. T. Berry's food. All I do is eat Mrs. T. Berry's food, Mr. Putter told Tabby one day. I should do something nice for her. It happened that Mrs. T. Berry and Zeke stopped by later that day. They had just returned from the yarn shop. I am starting a knitting club," said Mrs. T. Berry. "We are going to meet at my house and knit." "How nice," said Mr. Putter. "Would you like to join?" asked Mrs. T. Berry. No, thank you," said Mr. Putter, removing a shoe from Zeke's mouth. Suddenly, Mr. Putter had an idea. "Why don't I serve tea to your club?" he said. "You can knit, and I can pour." "How nice," said Mrs. T. Berry. Can you stop in tomorrow at two? She asked. Will do," said Mr. Putter, removing a glove from Zeke's mouth. Mrs. T. Berry and Zeke went home. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby. We are going to be good neighbors," he said. Tabby purred and purred. Two, the club. The next day, at two, Mr. Putter and Tabby went next door to Mrs. T. Berry's house. There were a lot of ladies there. They were knitting madly, and talking loudly. Tabby looked at all the needles, and all the threads. And all the big balls of yarn, her teeth began to chatter. Chat, 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 went Tabby's teeth. This sometimes happened when Tabby was excited. She looked at the big balls of yarn spinning. Chat, chat, chat. Mister Butter. Petted her to calm her down, but there were about fifty pounds of yarn in the room. Petting wasn't helping. Everyone said a cheery hello to Mister Butter and Tabby. Where's Zeke? Asked Mister Butter. I closed him in the kitchen, said Missus T. Berry. He was bothering Gertrude's hat. Gertrude was wearing a hat with lots of fake vegetables on it. He kept stealing the potatoes," said Mrs. T. Berry. "Tabby and I shall keep him company," said Mr. Butter. "Thank you," said Mrs. T. Berry. "You are a good neighbor."
That is just what Mr. Butter wanted to hear. Three, the fun starts. In the kitchen, Ziki had found a bag of popcorn, a loaf of bread, and some marshmallows. He also had a fake potato. Oh dear," said Mr. Butter. He cleaned up the mess. He helped Ziki unstick a marshmallow from his teeth. Then, Mr. Butter made tea. He fixed a nice big tray with a teapot and a tea cozy. He put sugar cubes and cream on the tray, and he filled a big bowl with chocolate bridge mix. Ziki and Tabby were very interested. Hmm," said Mr. Butter. He poured some cream in a bowl for them to share. Tabby purred and Ziki wagged. It was time to serve tea. If you're a good dog, Ziki," said Mr. Butter. "You can help." Ziki wagged again. Mr. Butter. Open the kitchen door, and that's when the fun started. Four, one last potato. Ziki went straight for the hat. Eek! Screamed Gertrude. Ziki flew through the house with a big plastic potato in his mouth. Tabby chattered herself into a frenzy. Then she went straight for the nearest ball of yarn, which happened to be connected to a sweater Mrs. Fitzwater had been knitting for seven months. Tabby flew through the house with a yarn in her mouth. As Mister Putter stood in the doorway. With his lovely tray of tea, Mrs. Fitzwater's sweater got smaller and smaller and smaller. Then it disappeared. When the excitement was over, Tabby and Ziki were long gone, and the room had one less potato. And no sweater. Mister Butter looked at the knitting club. He put on his best smile. One lump or two, ladies, he asked. At first, Gertrude and Missus Fitzwater were too grumpy for tea, but Mister Butter charmed them. He told Gertrude she had perfect taste in hats. He told Mrs. Fitzwater she was a model of goodness to cats. He gave them extra bridge mix. He poured them lots of tea. Mrs. Teaberry stopped saying, "Oh dear," and the knitting club had a wonderful visit. With Mister Putter, by the time the tea was over, Gertrude had promised to make Mister Putter his own vegetable hat, and Missus Fitzwater had promised him a sweater. When Tabby and Ziki finally came back, looking as if someone had knitted them, everyone just laughed. Mrs. T. Berry was so happy. When the knitting club went home, she thanked Mr. Putter. "You saved the day," she said. "Yes," said Mr. Putter. "But now I have to wear a vegetable hat." "Oh, don't worry," 
said Mrs. Teaberry. Ziki will take care of that.